Hello, this is Joseph McGill, History and Culture Coordinator here at Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. I want you to remain engaged with Magnolia Plantation while still observing social distance. I offer this teaching moment to give insight into our garden's ability to weather the storm. And we've weathered many storms here at Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. We're amongst the slave cabins, one of uh, four of 11 that were built here at Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. Uh, since 2009, one could go on the From Slavery to Freedom Our Cabin tour. We'll pick you up and We'll bring you here and we talk about the slavery that existed here on this plantation. Uh, the Draytons, the uh, founders of this property, were uh, amongst the colonizing organization or group that came here. And uh, one of the first things that they did was establish the system of enslaving people on this plantation. These, plant, these uh, buildings that you see here in, in the shot are actually built in 1850. They replaced the cabins that were here originally. Of course, in um, 1676, when the Draytons came here, the, the enslaved people would have been in other cabins, and these would have improved on those. These had wooden floors. They were built in 1850, and they were lived in up until 1990. And the people who come here, they get to walk through these cabins. Uh, we have the cabins restored to various periods of times, and one furthest away from us is uh, restored to look like the year 1850 and that year they were they were built they were all duplexes meaning two families per building and the one uh, near that one uh, coming in this direction is restored to look like the 1930s yes the 1930s there were still people living in these cabins even after the emancipation in 1865 people continued uh, to live in these cabins uh, and the one uh, right there uh, where I'm pointing right there that's uh, the one that's restored to look like 1969 1969 that's the year Mr. Johnny Leash uh, moved out of that cabin Mr. Johnny Leash was our head gardener he lived there for 20 years he raised uh, 13 children in that space and the one I'm standing uh, closest to now is restored to look like the year 1870 that's five years after the American Civil War that's the time of reconstruction so those are the cabins that uh, folks get to come and walk through here and learn about the history of people who were enslaved here and how these ca uh, cabins continued to transition uh, even through the year 1990 when the last family moved out of these cabins